today in this video i am sharing my visit to very popular and devotees favorite shri kshetra devgarh and shani shingnapur these two places are closely situated just 30 to 40 minutes away from each other i started my journey from pune and i took a break for breakfast at smile stone it is a very popular spot charging station for electric vehicle is also there shingnapur is a village in nevasa taluka in ahmednagar district maharashtra shani shingnapur is around 35 to 40 kilometers away from ahmednagar city on aurangabad ahmednagar road you will see this big command and you need to enter through this Shani Shingnapur is famous for the fact that no house in the village has door. It is considered as a Jagrut Devasthan. It is believed that deity Shani punishes you if you attempt to steal something. That's why I was so curious to visit this temple since long. But this time I got a chance to visit this temple so let me take you to the virtual tour of such a surprising place of shani shingnapur a village which has houses with no doors when you reach to this place many people will ask you to stop your car or vehicle and park your car at their parking space However when we visited this place there was not much rush so we decided to park our vehicle in the premises of the temple There are many small shops in the premises of temple generally people offer oil and wood to lord shani wood is a kind of pulse which is black in color and from this parking space temple is very near you just need to cross one small road at the entry of the temple you can keep your footwear in the back and then you can keep it at the footwear stand i love the arrangement which is done here for the devotees green net proper shade is there in rush period when many devotees are visiting temple long queues are there as such time such kind of proper arrangement is very important as you can see many people are offering oil to shani bhagwan as it's a saturday today saturday is a day for shani bhagwan and many people prefer to visit this temple on saturday this shrine of shani consists of 5 and 1/2 feet high black rock which is set on open platform i visited here on saturday so it was rush here so devotees were offering oil to lord shani few people were doing some puja here management has done proper arrangement here so that devotees can have a peaceful darshan i was lucky enough uh, to got a chance to visit this temple that's on saturday after taking darshan of shani bhagwan i roam around in the premises of this temple as you can see donation counter is here you can donate as per your wish This is the huge place for bhandara. Bhandara means prasad. You can also take burfi prasad from this counter. I was very happy at that day because it was my strong desire to visit this temple. Deity Shani is associated with planet Saturn. Planet Saturn is one of the nine heavenly objects that is Navagraha. in hindu astrology 
there was some construction work of the temple which was going on. We paid car parking charges uh, that is 20 rupees. And then we headed towards our next destination that is Sri Shetra Devgarh. Devgarh is also situated at Ahmadnagar Aurangabad Road. Sri Shetra Devgarh is at Nevasa Taluka in Ahmadnagar district in Maharashtra. It is 66 km away from Nagar. These two beautiful elephant statues always catched my attention whenever I was passing by this road. Look at this beautiful entry of Sri Shetra Devgarh. Road condition was very good and here also there was some construction which was going on. As you can see there is a very huge space here for car parking. I parked my car in the parking area. And this is the gate of Sri Datta Mandir at Devgarh. It's extremely beautiful. What a organized place it is. Extremely clean, well maintained, well planned, well designed. You can see the shops are there. You can get flowers, prasad and other puja samagri required for puja. Thumbs up to the management for such a cleanliness because it is a, such a huge place and number of devotees are coming here daily and still they are maintaining it. There is Bhaktanivas, a place to stay for the devotees who are willing to stay here. This temple is very beautifully designed. Inside photography was not allowed so I couldn't take the pictures of inside area. Pravra river is very close to this temple. This sansthan has done boating arrangement at this river. At outside area of this temple, you can find small stalls of villagers where uh, you can get seasonal fruits. I got some freshly plucked fruits here. It was tasty. And after such a wonderful day, I went to have my lunch at a popular Swad restaurant in Aurangabad. You should try Thali here. I will share the address link of this Swad restaurant in the description box. And another option here is Food Junction. I have been to this place many many times. Uh, you can try the poha here, it's very tasty. Other options are also there, that's so at reasonable price. So I really like the alu paratha here. So most of the time I do order this and don't forget to try the tea, it's very tasty. I will share the link of this restaurant in the description box. And near this restaurant there is a pan stall and don't forget to try this pan it's very tasty so I hope you like this video so consider subscribing to my youtube channel for further such videos I have shared the link of the addresses in the description box nearest airport is in Aurangabad in Maharashtra state India